Episode 5 of The Last of Us starts out with a flashback set 11 days before the events of Episode 4. First, we see rebels cheering as the remaining Fedra soldiers and civilian collaborators are attacked. We then see Henry and his brother Sam, the two young men who woke up Ellie and Joel at gunpoint at the end of Episode 4. In the next scene, we see Kathleen, the group rebel leader asking prisoners for the location of Henry. When threatened with death, one prisoner gives her information. Despite this, Kathleen orders all of the prisoners to be executed. We then see Sam and Henry meet up with the gray-haired man from episode four. Henry counts up their provisions, says he thinks they can sneak out of the city using the underground tunnels and that they have 11 days of food to figure it out. 10 days later, Sam and Henry are awaiting the man's return, but he never arrives. The next morning, after being unaccounted for for a whole day, Henry realizes he's not coming back. Without any more food, Henry decides that Sam and him have to leave. Just as they're about to head out, they hear a car crash outside and shooting. It's Joel and Ellie moments after they crashed the truck in episode four. Henry watches and decides to sneak up on Joel and Ellie while they're sleeping, which catches the story up, bringing us to the events that we saw at the end of episode four. The sequence in the game and show differ some, but ultimately end up with the same result. In the show, Henry tells Joel they want to help them and he's going to put his gun down. That's right. It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joel, tell him he's okay. Everything is great. Dude. In the game, Henry said the bad guys don't have kids with them and then offers to lead Joel and Ellie to a safer place. We got a hideout not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. In the show, after a tense moment, Joel and Ellie share some food with Henry and Sam. Henry then tells him in the morning he'll show them a way out of town. In the game, Henry tells him that they're heading west and are looking to join up with the Fireflies, and that once the sun goes down, they are sneaking out of the city and meeting up with some others at a radio tower. In the show, the next morning, Henry tells them about the tunnels, which were once filled with the infected but are supposed to be clear now. In the game, as soon as the group sets out, they find raiders at nearly every turn and have to deal with a lot of them. At one point, Humvee is chasing the group and a ladder breaks, and Henry decides to leave Joel. Ellie returns to his side as they run for cover. After fighting more raiders, they then find themselves on the bridge and are forced to jump in the water. You keep me afloat! Ellie! No time to argue! Ellie! Uh. Damn it! Once Joel awakens, he threatens to end Henry for leaving them, but Ellie reminds Joel that Henry came back and did save them by pulling them out of the river. They continue the journey. In the show, once they start out, the group runs into an underground preschool and decides to wait there until it gets a bit darker so they can return to the surface under the cover of night. The game features a sequence similar to this, but the school area is more than just one room in the game. It's spread out over a larger area, and in one sequence, Joel and Sam are temporarily separated from Henry and Ellie, who are chased by the infected. You keep him safe! Go! In the live action version, Henry tells Joel Sam had leukemia, and the only medicine that would help was controlled by Fedra. So Henry gave Fedra, the leader of the resistance movement, who also happened to be Kathleen's brother, in exchange for the medication. Yeah, we go. We waited long enough. In the next scene, we see Kathleen in her childhood bedroom telling her main henchman that her brother was a great guy. He assures her that as great as he was, Kathleen is the real reason for their success and that she is their leader. In the next scene, we see the game and the show are largely in sync, with the group making their way down the street. In both, they run into an unexpected attack. In both the show and the game, Joel tells the others to wait there and heads around the back of the houses in order to flank the sniper. In the game, Joel runs into a bit more resistance, 
before finally reaching the sniper's nest. In the live-action version, Joel finds an older gentleman waiting for him, while in the game, his encounter isn't quite as delicate. Immediately after, Joel's attention turns to what he sees coming. In the show, it's Kathleen and her crew. In the game, it's a bunch of raiders. In the live-action version, we see Henry about to give himself up in order to give Ellie and Sam a chance to run. But just as Kathleen is about to shoot, a sinkhole opens up. In the game, after clearing out the raiders, some infected show up. But in the show, an enormous swarm of the infected come pouring out of the sinkhole and are followed by the first bloater we've seen in the show. barely escape, and in both the game and the show, we see all four taking a well-deserved rest. Ellie and Sam end up alone together and have a similar conversation about being scared. Sam reveals to Ellie that he's been bit, and Ellie heartbreakingly tries to use her blood to hopefully help. Sam asks Ellie to stay up with him. In the game, when they get done talking, Ellie leaves Sam to go to sleep, and it's only then the player is shown that Sam has been bitten. In both, the next morning, Sam is unfortunately At the end of the scene, in the show we see Ellie and Joel finish burying Sam and Henry before continuing their journey. In the game, fall has come. Until next week, like if you do, subscribe if you can and comment if you've got one. It all really does help grow the channel. With that, I'll say thanks again for watching and until next time.